Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a reading today, which is called Your Lost Love Story. So this is going to be based upon a person that you feel a very deep, special soul connection with, despite there being maybe little to no contact or complete separation. So we're going to be looking at this love story. So what is the love story of your lost love? as well as what challenges started to emerge that may have created issues in your connection. And also, how does your person see things now? I will offer an extended version to go even deeper into a bunch of different things. So I will put that link down below, as well as all the things we're going to be going into over there if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Just take what resonates for you. Get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks plus these beautiful organites will be listed down below. Okay. So let's see what is the love story of this love, this lost love energy. Okay. What's your love story with this person? Obviously this is past tense because you know, this is a lost love. So this particular deck is called heart and soul of Oracle by celestial forecast by Carrie. Let's see. What are the energies here of your lost love story? Okay, so we have locked out. So let's read this. Please let me in. I can't be there for you the way you want me to be if you don't let me in. I know you've been hurt in the past, but that's not me. I'm here for you to heal that broken heart of yours. Please tear down these walls you've built around us. Let me in. Interesting. So, you know, that could be something where, you know, you came together with this individual, but you already knew that maybe perhaps they had been hurt before. So it wasn't easy for them to open themselves up. Maybe they opened themselves up a little bit, but then started to close up again. Now this could have been you as well, or maybe you both got freaked out and just started to run from the connection. This one is called messages of love by all things intuitive what else do we need to know about this lost love story okay so we have trust it is safe to trust in this situation i feel like somebody uh basically felt like they didn't know if they could trust they didn't know if it was safe so this is a coping mechanism i feel that someone may have used because it keeps them feeling safe some of you guys might have also lost trust with this person. So you had to turn your back on this individual and the connection because law, uh, trust was lost and you didn't know you no longer felt safe. So just take however the story is resonating for you. Let's go ahead and get another card here. Okay, so we have the one. So there was this feeling here of this being the one, the one you've been waiting for your entire life. You've never felt this way about another person. So this is a part of your love story to feel this very intense energy, to feel like you have lost, I'm sorry, not lost, that you have actually found the one, but it's like lost and lost and found and then now lost again. Kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and get some tarot cards here to depict. That was the Colors of Love Oracle, by the way. This one is called the Intuit Tarot. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards to get some more energy and some details on this situation. So definitely this feeling of coming together, feeling like we met the one, feeling like we could trust and we can open ourselves up, but it's almost like someone did not feel safe to give the same back in return. We have the queen of coins. Okay, so this right here, it says impeccable taste, somebody who's business savvy, prosperous, organized, grounded, nurturing, detailed, caring, a realist, real classy. This right here is Capricorn energy. Now, this doesn't have to be masculine or feminine energy, even though I do see the queens as feminine, but just again, take that how it resonates. But the Capricorn is someone who really has either their life together or on the outside, it looks really good. They, they look really good. They're very attractive. They might have their finances in order. They might have flashy things, you know, a lot of materialistic things. But the thing is, I feel like what was going on on the inside did not match the outside for someone, okay? And the inside, they actually felt quite vulnerable. 
So I feel like some of you were treated like the queen. Some of you were treated like the one. And I usually do things from the feminine's perspective since the majority of my audience is feminine. So that's kind of the way I'm going to do this. I feel like this person, when you guys met, you they, they literally treated you like a queen. They, they, they told you how amazing you were. They almost feel like they hit the jackpot. But something happened within them. And we haven't even gotten into what started to emerge that created issues here, but it's already naturally coming through. I feel feminines, you really, really trusted that this person was it, that they were the one. So when this happened here, it, it really either took you by surprise or it killed you to have to lock this person out because they betrayed your trust. Yeah. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get another. Wow. Oh yeah. The lover's so the one and the lover's energy, divine union, deep connection, you know, romance, harmony, just love, you know, I feel like I've met my person, my counterpart. Lovers is also Gemini's energy. Some of you could have also, because it's Gemini twins, could have felt like this was a twin flame connection. So it might have killed you, divine feminine, if this is your story that you had to lock this person out, that you had to close the door, that you had to tell them no because of betraying your trust. But I feel for the majority of you, what this is, is both of you came together. You felt like this kinship. You felt this super deep connection with each other. It was like, oh my gosh, I met the one, but somebody freaked out. And when they freaked out, they started to put the walls around their heart. Yeah. And feminines, it could have caused you to question yourself, question your worth. Like, hey, I'm the total package. What's the problem here? And it doesn't matter, you know, how amazing someone is. You know, it doesn't matter how amazing you are. If someone is not ready or they don't feel good about themselves, they're not going to be able to see the value or worth or, of someone else. So I almost feel like there is a person in this situation that does not value themselves or they're not connecting with their deepest inner self. And so because of this, because they can't really go deep, like this feels really good, but when it came to going deep, it's like they couldn't do it. So they started locking you out. They started closing this door on this union. And you could have felt duped feminine because I feel like you went into this with an open heart. You went into this because you could be one of those types of people where you're just normally really down to earth and practical. You don't get like swept away in this kind of energy, but you felt it and you trust it. So you went with it. That's what I'm getting here. You felt it, you trust it. So you went with it only for something to happen like this for it to fall apart. You know, it's almost like this feeling of falling from grace and just trying to figure out what the hell happened. And we have justice. So I do feel for some of you feminines, you did have to do something. You had to act with integrity, even though it might've been really difficult for you. This is Libra's energy. Libra sees, th sees things in a very detached way. We take our feelings out of it. We have to make a fair and just decision. You know, we don't go with our emotions with this one because had we gone with our emotions, we may have continued to maybe let this person back in, even though they lied, even though they were hurting us, if that's your story, but you had to do what was right. Now, some of you guys, this could have been a third party situation. Sometimes that can be the lovers where there's three people in a situation. Um, and some of you may have just said, I, I just can't do that anymore. I can't do that anymore. I have to act with integrity. I have to be fair here. I have to pull back. I have to allow you to take care of your business. So if someone was married here, it's like giving them that space to handle their business because justice can be legal contracts. Some of you guys may have even been married to this person as well. But I'm just seeing here that when it came to making a decision, somebody had to make they were using their head instead of their heart. And I feel like feminine, if you were having to use your head, it was hard for you. But if this person that you were dealing with, um, when they locked you out, they were doing this in order to survive. They were doing this in order to protect themselves from being vulnerable um, from this union because it's so deep. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple of layers here because this might be some of your story. Maybe I'm not tapped in yet. Let's just continue to see. What else do we need to understand here about this situation? What else is the story? We 
We have hope. So the hope energy, we all know what it feels like to be disappointed, heartbroken, left empty by promises that remain unkept. Then one day life hands you a glimmer of hope that you're not meant to live this life disappointed, heartbroken, and empty. It never feels like it at the time, but the journey is always worth it. Wow. So what I'm also seeing here is that if something obviously fell apart or somebody closed the door, somebody kind of was left just wondering what the hell just happened. I thought this was it for me. I feel like um, some of you feel that maybe there is still hope that things can be saved, that things can change. And it looks like right now, okay, or just actually, I, I don't even really want to say right now because we're not even focused. We're focused on the story, okay, which can, it can represent right now, but I'm getting, looking at this more of what's already happened here. You and this person did not share the same vision, as in you guys were not ready at the same time. They weren't ready. They weren't open to it completely like maybe you were. Maybe they were not available. Maybe you weren't available. Who knows? But there has been some sort of disappointment and heartbreak and feeling empty by somebody that's, that made a promise or they said something and they couldn't follow through with it. So that's that disappointment that I keep picking up on here in this connection. messages delivered. Yeah. So this right here is, um, sending some sort of a mixed, mixed message, mixed signal. What you told me before is not matching up with what you're telling me now. You told me that you cared. You told me that I was the one you told me that I was it. And now you're telling me something different. So there was a switch up here. There was a switch up in energy. Somebody switched something up here and it created this disappointment. Yeah. So we have the death now. Interesting. Scorpio's energy. So something happened here. Something ended. Absolutely. It says, um, you know, this total ending here, but what it does, this breakup being completely done, right? It's very abrupt change. It actually leaves room for something to transform and to some, something to perhaps begin again or start new. So that might be why there's this hope energy here. You know, there's this hope that maybe not all is lost with this person or situation. Now we have the King of Cups showing up, which is Scorpio's energy. So we have double Scorpio energy here. We have emotional mastery. What I'm getting here, you guys, is that there possibly is hope that this person that you're watching the video for, because I feel like this is the masculine in the situation, can become more emotionally balanced, can become more heart-centered, can be kinder, be more self-aware, in touch with their feelings. Because I feel like this is the person that you met, essentially, but this is not the person that they could continue to be. It's almost like when they came together with you, they felt like they met their match. You reminded them of who they truly were. But maybe they had to go through some sort of a complete and total transformation in separation from you to finally become this person and arrive at this destination. So at the time you guys were not on the same page, perhaps you can be moving forward. Now we have the hangman, Pisces energy, new perspective. So yes, I feel like somebody as this ended had an aha moment, had some sort of transformation. It's like they couldn't see it when they were with you. And maybe you couldn't see certain things either. But somebody couldn't see things from any different perspective until they were on their own or they were outside of this connection with you. So this transformation, I feel, happened out or after the disconnection, after the ending of this connection. All right, let's get one more set of cards. Wow, there's a lot of pain here ripped. I've never known the kind of love that could break me open to such depth or deep or such depth, deep emotion, I think is what it means to say passion and feelings until you came into my life, knowing that we belong together and yet unable to bring desire and my dreams into reality. It breaks my heart into a billion shattered pieces. Okay. So there's definitely this, this pain here. I'm ripped apart. I'm ripped apart because I have never known this kind of love. And because I felt such high, now I feel this extreme low. That's what makes it so painful is that we feel like we have touched the divine in another. That's what we feel. 
and we feel like it's been ripped from us. So now we have forgiveness. I'm getting chills just because it's really, really, um, it's really deep here. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So maybe it's very difficult. It's difficult to forgive this person. It's difficult to forgive yourself maybe for certain things too. And, and this is a part of this process. This is a part of this soul contract, this, this soul connection here. It's a part of it. So let's see what else. Uh-huh. I do feel because someone put someone on a pedestal, someone treated someone like a queen. You're amazing. You're, you're everything I want. You're everything that I'm looking for. And then someone changed, something happened. And then all of a sudden you fell from grace. And so when you fell, you fell hard and it hurts because you really, really thought that this person, you know, that, that you guys were going to do this. So real major disappointment here. Ripped to shreds. That's what I'm picking up on. Ripped to shreds. So now we have the high priestess. And I feel like this feminine, which is you, the person watching the video, you had to go within because it says divine feminine here. You had to go within. You had to dive deep within yourself. You did. You had to dive deep within. You had to rely on your higher self to basically guide the ship because your ego probably was absolutely blown to smither smithereens. It was just blown to pieces you felt broken, you felt unworthy, you felt lost, you, you felt all these things. Because again, your person put you up so high, just so you could crash down super low. And it's because of their own stuff, you know, that they did this, by the way, this really doesn't have anything to do with you. But you've had to get calm. You've had to rely on your intuition and also connect with spirit. So perhaps this situation really pushed you deeper within yourself. It pushed you into a spiritual journey. It pushed you into, you know, just questioning everything and learning a lot and understanding things. But the high priestess is wisdom filled. She relies on the subconscious mind instead of the ego mind to navigate her journey. And I feel like had it not been for this pain, you may not be navigating the journey that you're navigating now. And we have the emperor, divine masculine. So I feel like there is something here about a divine feminine and a divine masculine. And it's already come up with the queen of pentacles and the queen, I'm sorry, the king of cups. So there's a counterpart energy here. So I feel like some of you guys see each other as counterparts counterparts of one another. Okay. And the high priestess is uh, very in touch uh, of divine feminine that is really spiritual, really connected to the self. And she is also able to go in between 3d and 5d. So some of you divine feminines could also be during a separation, be communicating with this divine masculine in a 5d way, you know, um, through telepathy or dreams and that sort of thing. But the emperor here, this is someone who is establishing themselves, finding themselves, taking responsibility, taking action in their life, getting certain things done, stepping into their power. So I do feel like there has been a transformation already within this, in, in this connection as in within the selves. So there's something that's already taking place here that is positive for this for you know yourselves and this connection. And now we have the four of wands celebrating union. Wow. Um, this is about somebody coming back, lovers return, homecoming. Some people see the four of wands as an 1111. I feel like it is it is possible that you and this person can rekindle this connection at some point in time. I feel like because it was so strong, it's like it's not going to go away for either one of you. So if that sounds like your connection, you guys, you're in the right place. So let's now take a look and get a little bit deeper into these challenges that started to emerge. Like what's the deal? What happened here? This is the denied shadow Oracle. Okay. So we have codependent unhealthy attachment. And sometimes that will happen. You guys, sometimes you'll connect with another person. That's really going to bring out the best, but also the worst in you. You know, it, it creates an addiction. It creates a, oh my gosh, I'm going to die without this person. Some of you guys might have felt that your person might have also started to feel very vulnerable because they were starting to become addicted and need you. And maybe they did not want to need you. This is my cosmic contracts, the ties that bind deck. What else? 
interesting. Now we have obsessed. I will, t I, I will be the object of your desire. So it's kind of like tunnel vision. Someone started to just focus on the other person and losing touch with themselves. So there's an, a very um, addictive quality here. Um, maybe a lot of you went back and forth with this person and it, it developed into this unhealthy attachment. Maybe you knew it, maybe they knew it, maybe one of you knew it and the other one didn't. So there was running chasing going on. But when we make someone the object of our desire and we lose focus on ourselves, not only is that unhealthy for us, but it can put a lot of pressure on the other person and they feel it. Believe me, if someone made you the object of their desire and they didn't have a life outside of you and you were their entire world, it would get old real quick. You would start to become turned off. You, you would start to become repelled by that energy. So sometimes we get, we kind of get triggered in these ways and it brings out the worst in us, right? So I feel if anything that your contract with this person is one of helping each other to grow actually, and to let go of unhealthy things. All right. This is my connections of the modern world tarot that I created with my daughter. Yeah, I love that. The Ace of Cups to me, of course, is a an offer from the divine. So this is a divine love connection. And when I say that, it, it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed that it will work out or that this is your only person, okay? But this is a divine offer. This is an offer from the divine that says you have something of great importance to learn from this love. This is also about your own cup though too. Your own cup has to be full before you can bring it and combine it with another person and experience absolute divine love. So if you've connected with this person and it didn't feel so divine, that is because both of you are coming with your cups flawed. So it's not about perfection either, but it just means that whatever that has happened here has happened for a reason in order for you guys to be able to let go and clear unhealthy behaviors or unhealthy things that start to develop when you are around this person. All right, let's see what else. We have irresponsible. So it says unreliable, reckless, and careless. Maybe somebody was careless with someone, someone's feelings. And when we're doing that, it really is a trauma response. When people are cruel and mean and they act like they don't give a shit and they stonewall you or ignore you or don't take your phone calls or block you, it's fear. That's what it is. It's fear. Of course, it can be like if you're you know, really pushing someone, that's their only defense mechanism. But it's a, I can't deal with this kind of an attitude. It's too much. It's overwhelming. Sometimes people can cut you out and, and make you feel like they just never cared. Like you don't even know who they are. Okay. We do have instigator. I know how to wind you up. So both of you, I feel knew how to wind each other up, like what made the other person tick. And some of you could have used this to your advantage. Maybe the other person used this to their advantage, or they just knew exactly how to say certain things to get a, either a result or a reaction. So there could have just been a lot of, you know, a little back and forth stuff going on there. And we have the six of swords. So the six of swords, you guys, is movement and distance. I do feel like someone may have just said, you know what, I can't deal with this anymore and then block someone or didn't return someone's text or phone call or just moved away or said, I just need some time. I need some space. And I'm getting here. It was because someone just couldn't handle something. They couldn't handle what was going on within themselves. So I feel like this is probably what created the distance here. Okay. There's distance that started to grow is what I'm getting here. And it's funny because the uh, Tori Amos's song China is coming through to me. So look that song up um, because I feel like this is definitely applicable to your connection. Enmeshment fear, over sensitivity to being controlled or losing one's identity. I already picked that up with your person, especially they had this immense amount of fear. Like they didn't want, they, somebody did not want somebody to make them their entire world. Like they felt this very compelling, very powerful, passionate connection with you as well. But I feel that, that there was someone in the connection that was just 
very heavily reliant on another person, almost like addicted to a person. And that put a lot of pressure and fear on someone. So what this did is like, I feel too, I can't, I don't want to be controlled. I don't want to lose myself. I can't commit. I don't want marriage. I don't want kids. I don't want that, 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 you know, just something like that. And what it did is it instigated this reaction in them. And their reaction was to move away, to run away. Yeah, we have a lot of passion here, though, in this connection. I will make you hungry for more. Somebody could have used this in order to stay attached. Okay, I know that quite well. I've done that many times in my life with people where I'm just like, oh my God, I'm absolutely losing myself here. But I know that this is the one thing that's good, so I'm going to use that. But what I really wanted so desperately was love. But I knew that that was the only thing that the connection had to, to survive on at the time. So sometimes we do that. We don't, we don't do that to hurt people, but we just end up hurting ourselves. So I feel like the passion was so good. Or it was so great together, but it was like this real element of deep, deep love, this divine love. It was there, but it, it was not being really experienced and, and, and walked through. I don't know why I'm doing this deck again, so maybe I need to. Okay, well, it's essay growing apart. So there is this growing apart, obviously, that happened like you know, you guys had this immense attraction and intensity and, and chemistry. And then bam, it's like you guys just started to grow apart or someone started to, to distance themselves. And now we have strength. I just feel at the end of the day, you guys, that there was this push pull with this connection. We want it, but then we know that we're not strong enough to not lose ourselves. Also, we need to restrain ourselves. We want to say yes to this person. We just want to go in because we feel so intense, but yet we know it's probably not good for us because we can't control ourselves. And this person, same thing. You know, I want to open up my heart, but I, I can't have this. I can't be controlled. I don't want to be stifled. Um, it feels good, but I can't have it. So restraining themselves in that way as well. So yeah, that looks like a lot of the challenges that may have faced. So we're going to take a look at one aspect of how does your person see things now? Okay. Currently, how does your person see you and this connection now as in today? Okay. So this is a combination dex from Aqua Moonlight. How does your person see things now? Okay, so we have softening your heart. Okay, Expe ex uh, exposing the bare soul, sl showing vulnerability. So this is actually quite opposite to where your person was before. Let's go into my Divine Masculine Tarot jour uh, Journey deck. We do have drowning in my sorrow. So your person is in the five of cups energy. They do feel regret on the past. They might be reflecting on the past. They might be reflecting on their feelings right now, actually. This is the way that they're seeing the situation. So how they see things right now, how they see you and the situation and how everything went down, they're, they're actually softening their heart. They're, they're in their feelings and they're feeling like they screwed up. They're feeling guilt and shame for their behavior. Now, it does say drowning my sorrows. So yeah, I mean, this person could be drinking a lot. They could be just, you know, kind of trying not to feel it, but it is coming up for them. So this is called the honest truth tarot. Let's see what else. Wow, we have page cups. Okay, what I'm seeing, you guys, is that this person does think about messaging you, literally. They think about calling you, sending you a text, messaging you, telling you that they're sorry, telling you that they're feeling different now. Sorry for being such a jerk. Sorry for being, you know, so cold. Sorry for hurting you. Yeah, that's what they're, they're seeing things differently now is what I'm getting. Wow. Now, remember, you were the Queen of Pentacles before to them, and now you're still the Queen of Pentacles. So this is awesome because the Queen of Pentacles, um, Capricorn's energy, like they see some sort of value. They see you as a, as a valuable person in their life. They see you as somebody of, of a, like a stable person, somebody that they can imagine growing old with, maybe having children with, running a business with, a good teammate to them, a queen by their side. So they definitely still see you in this very valuable way. And even though they saw you that way before, but may not have treated you as such, I just see that they're still seeing you this way. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Wow. 
Pisces energy. So this to me is the thought. This is the delivery of that message. So I'm going to say that this person right now might be thinking about messaging you soon. You know, it could be sometime this summer, if that makes sense. I mean, you know, like the cups energy or summertime and we're seeing, you know, three cups here. So summer's energy. I could really, really think about just showing up and delivering this message to you, making a move on that thought, making a move on their feelings, which is something that they didn't feel safe to do before, but their heart is certainly feeling softened to do something now. Wow. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to keep that at a 30 minute mark. We are going to go into the extended reading. This is everything that's going to be over there. I'll also write it in the description box, but what did they no, deep down in their heart about you and the situation. We're going to look at that next over there. What do they see as a po uh, possibility between the two of you? Okay. Also, what is their higher self trying to guide them to do? What, all, what are their late, late at night? What do they fantasize when it comes to you and them? What are they so afraid of when it comes to you and future movement and communication on this connection? So if you guys are interested in um, getting to those extra messages, definitely click that link in the description box, which will take you straight to the extended. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it so far and I will catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.